All right, Deeper Blue here at DEMA 2015. We're with Dr. Neil Pollack from Divers Alert Network, and we just sat in on an incredible talk. Why don't you tell us what your talk was about? This talk was on managing decompression stress beyond the algorithm. Decompression algorithms get you in the ballpark of what safe limits are, but they miss a multitude of factors. The chief among those would be the dive profile. Dive profile matters. Then exercise matters a great deal. If you're exercising during the descent and bottom phase, you're taking on more inert gas. The dive computer doesn't register that, so you have to be aware. On the way up, light exercise can help you eliminate gas, which is good, but if you exercise too much, you can actually promote bubble formation, which is bad. So we have to fight our normal inclination of a little being good, more must be better. For exercise, none on the bottom is great, a little on the way up is good, too much is bad. And we heard some really interesting stuff about thermal that I'd never heard before. And the thermal status is another important factor. A lot of divers think that because their dive computers register water temperature, it somehow informs the decompression algorithm. That's not true. Water temperature doesn't determine your stress. Think of it. You could be in cold water wearing a bathing suit or a dry suit with undergarments. So you have to be thoughtful about your stress. If you are warm on the way down, you're increasing blood flow, increasing delivery of inert gas to your peripheral tissues. Then, if you chill through the course of the dive and you're cold on the way up, you're in the worst case scenario because now you're not eliminating inert gas. So you increase the decompression stress and you prolong the period at which you could develop symptoms. The alternative that we'd like to see people do is to be thermoneutral during the descent, even a little bit, not cold, but thermoneutral, not overheated on the way down to minimize uptake. And then on the way up, again, light exercise and a little bit of warming can help them eliminate gas as long as they're not exercising too hard. That's how you can control the risk. So if we think about this, the big three factors we've talked about are the dive profile you can control, the exercise intensity you can control, the thermal status you can control, and then we've got all those individual factors that you have to be mindful of. Am I well hydrated but not too hydrated? Am I rested? Am I physically fit? All of those factors play a role. Thank you so much. Awesome talk, Doc.